Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you happen to be new here, my name's Erica. Welcome to our home. If you're not new and you've been around a while, you have seen my home in my videos, but if this is your first video, I'm gonna take you around our home and just show you some of the things that we've done over the years, tell you some of the things that we still want to do. A little backstory, very quick, we've lived here for 20 years. We've raised four kids in this house, three are grown, one is a teenager, still lives at home. It is technically a two bedroom, one bath home, 1,100 square feet upstairs, and then we do have an almost full basement, and about 400 square feet is finished down there, or partially finished, so uh, we do utilize that space as well, so I'll take you down there. Part of the video, I'll have to do a voiceover because my husband's working downstairs and my son is in his room playing video games. So we'll just do a voiceover when we get to those areas. So it is currently March 4th when I'm filming this and it is a gloriously beautiful spring afternoon. You can hear the kids playing in the neighborhood. Everybody's outside, it is so beautiful. Last year I did film a winter home tour. If you're interested in that, I'll link it down in the description box. I'll also link a playlist of all the like major improvements we've done around here. I do have them all into a playlist. So if there's something you're curious about, about, go check the playlist below and see if maybe I made a video on it because most of the improvements we've done around here I do have at least one video on so make sure to check that out but let's go ahead and get started. so this is our front porch we enclosed this a couple years ago there is a couple videos on this but we love it we love sitting out here in this time of year it is just perfection out here and of course I can sit out here with my fur babies and they won't run away they're safe we have pet screen up so this little one right here, Clyde, likes to climb up the screen. So, but he is always the first one out here. When it's a nice day, he wants to be outside. So, there's my Clyde. My husband, Marion, made these window boxes for me for the custom for these windows, and I use them for spring and summer and fall. I love to decorate them with beautiful flowers. And I did just put out all my spring decor, so this will be kind of a spring home tour. I did get this beautiful wreath at Goodwill for only $3.99 and I love it. Tulips are my favorite. So let's head inside. So we do have four fur babies. This is Belle Belle. Can you say hi? That's Belle Belle and there's Oliver. And we have two cats. I showed you Clyde and then Chloe's around here somewhere. But this is the living room. When you walk in, it's an oversized sofa, but we wanted lots of comfy seating, so it is bigger than your normal sectional, but um, also when all the kids are here, we want to have enough seating, so. And of course, the dogs love to lay on it, so this is our living room. So we do have a granddaughter. These are her toys. She comes over here a couple times a week. This is just a kind of like entertainment center that we kind of put together. It's just two bookshelves and then we put a top piece of wood on top and some trim and then this is one of those electric fireplaces and it works really great. To, it looks like an entertainment center. I love it and it was smaller than typical ones so I could just do it to fit this space. We also did make these little houses on top we actually used a piece of our old deck that we ripped out and we were able to reclaim that and I love it and also my husband made me that sign I used my Cricut and wrote the words on it and then he also did this faux board and batten I think it's beautiful we don't have enough room for a bench right here but we do keep our shoes there also my door will be getting a makeover pretty soon it's gonna be nice this is the same door that we've had since we moved in 20 years ago and I've never liked it I don't like the windows I painted over them but it is getting a makeover and it's gonna look so much better once that is finished the color of my walls is called sea salt and I know when I go over the windows it kind of drowns it out but I love the cool tones it's pretty obvious I like the blues and grays and greens they're my favorite more than the warm tones my floor is definitely warm but I like to have lots of cool tones in my house, but I recently started trying to add a little warmth with wood pieces, just trying to add it where I can. This is a, a cat perch that m my husband made for the cats. I wanted them to be able to all, we used to have three cats, I wanted them to all be able to sit up there together. Pretty much only Clyde uses it, but that's okay. He loves it. He loves to stretch out in it. This is our dining room that is connected to the living room, obviously. It's one big open room. When we bought this house, there was a closet right where I'm standing that divided the two rooms, but we ripped it out and opened it up. We just needed more room. 
This is my cute little hutch I got from Facebook Marketplace and I painted it white. Love to decorate this for all the different holidays. I also got my table and chairs from Facebook Marketplace and I re redid them. Also my couch, my chair, those also came from Facebook Marketplace. This is a table that my husband built for me and I love it. It's perfect for this space right here because it doesn't get in the way when you walk around the corner. This is very heavy traffic area right here walking through into the kitchen but um, that is small enough it goes along the wall and I love it. You'll see in the doorway we have some wood pieces in these two doorways because we have custom gates that Marion made for um, when our granddaughter's here so that's what that wood is for. So moving into the kitchen, the lighting isn't the best and these, we have a fluorescent light up here. So there you'll see these like brown bars through the screen. Sometimes that just happens when the lighting is a certain way and there's not really anything I can do about it. But here's just an overview of our kitchen. I have the door open because like I said, it is beautiful today. So I do have a whole series on this kitchen. We, uh, let's see, I guess it was, 2020 so almost four years ago we completely gutted our kitchen down to just the walls we did put new flooring in we put new countertops new cabinets we had to raise the countertops and we added a dishwasher we got new windows new backsplash new sink new faucet everything is new except some of the appliances we did get a new refrigerator but we kept well i guess our stove is the only thing that is not new but I love my little farmhouse kitchen. It is so fun. I love the farmhouse style, but I also kind of like, I kind of like different styles. I like boho. I love cottage. I, I love coastal. There's a lot that I like, but I definitely gravitate to the cooler tones, the lighter shades. My floor is very squeaky. This house was built in the 40s, so it's pretty old. <laughs> it's pretty old, but I love the character of a new, of an older home. I love it something about it i don't know why but i just am always drawn to the older homes so that there's a few things in here that we want to do and one is redo our ceiling the ceiling was original and we don't like it so one day hopefully we'll get to change that up marion did um build this island for me and it's really big for the size of kitchen we have but i love it this is a recent project we redid it and this piece right here is from the old kitchen it used to be above the sink so we just put it on the island so we could kind of incorporate the old with the new and I love it this island was smaller but we just made it bigger and I love my island I use it every single day when I'm cooking then over here we just kind of have like my husband's coffee bar I don't drink coffee but he loves his coffee and that kind of is a catch-all this corner up here just kind of looks a little crazy but um, I try to keep it as cleaned off as I possibly can because I don't like clutter but I have this window over here which I recently added that kind of looks like a window I mean it's a mirror not a window but it kind of brings in the light makes it look like we have a window over here because this is a very small kitchen
So I did do this faux brick wall. I think I did it, I wanna say six years ago, and it's held up so great. I do have a video on it. It was one of my earlier, earliest videos on YouTube, but I just love the look of it. Over the years, I've whitewashed it a few times and just made it a little bit lighter. And then when we redid our kitchen, I carried it over into this wall as well. So I just love the look of brick. And then I love the beadboard backsplash. This was such an inexpensive back, backsplash. It's a little bit, it's about twice as much now as it used to be in 2020, but so is everything else. But it was about $40 to do the entire backsplash. And I really love the way that it looks. It gives it like an old cottagey or old farmhouse look. And I love that it's white. I just really love it. It's so easy to maintain as well. So right off the kitchen is this kind of funky doorway. This was an addition onto the house, obviously before we bought the house. I don't know how long ago, but this used to be a window and then that used to be the back door, but they added this addition on. So we have a laundry room, but it is a very small walkway right here. And I'll turn this light on. This is where my cats eat because the dogs would eat that if it was up, if it was on the floor, that's the dog's area. My litter box is in here and then we have an old, this was our old pantry. We just have games and stuff up here. And then in here we ripped out we ripped everything out and it's just right now storing my vacuum, things like that. But we do have plans to rip this whole closet out. We, we would really love to put our washer and dryer on this side and then it would obviously open this space up a little bit more and put some shelves or counter or something over here. But it would mean removing, you know, moving all the piping and wiring and all that and that's a major deal. So we haven't done that yet, but at some point I do I do plan on ripping this out. It's just other things take precedence, but one day we will do that. And, but I love having my washer right here, washer and dryer. It used to be in the basement. So we're thankful that it is upstairs and right, and very convenient. But that color of those cabinets is called Icy Teal. My favorite, all time favorite color of paint. I love it. Um, I think it's a glidden color. And then the floor, I chose this just gray sticky tile and it's throughout the kitchen the laundry room and then right here by the back door but I wanted to I thought about putting wood in here wood flooring but I love the kind of bright white I love a bright white kitchen and I just wanted it to be bright so I went with the sticky tile and then on the other side over here this is like our little kind of mud room just kind of where the dogs go in and out it's the exit to the back door or to the backyard I'm not going to go outside right now it's wintry and pretty ugly looking right now it needs to be cleaned up so much once it starts to get warm I'm gonna go out there and do some yard work I'll be painting some out here we did put this new patio in last year we ripped out our old deck and we built a patio and then we have this side over here that's covered we have it needs a lot of work it still needs to be finished painting we need to power wash but I'm excited for the warm weather to get out here and really be able to utilize the outside space so right off of this is what is currently being used as our pantry and you can see Clyde has been here. He's the only cat I've ever had that has scratched like that and I paint over it and sand it and he does it again. <laughs> he's just, he's the naughty one. But like I said, it's lived in. But this is our pantry, I love this floor. They're color pops, floor tiles. I got them at Walmart. But we built this, this room has been used as my oldest son's room, my youngest daughter's room, my youngest son's room it's been my office it's been marion's office and now it's my pantry it's massive for this size of a house it is everything i love this pantry so much i am storing this bench in here right now just i'm not really sure what to do with it so eventually that will not be in here and this is our recyclables but we just have like kind of a little bit of everything we have pool stuff this is like our winter coats and then in the summer we hang our towels here i have my candle storage drinks, small appliances, animal food, and of course all our food. Over here is like a little baking nook. This used to be a window because this was the outside wall, so this was a window. So um, we just had the shelves in and put all my baking supplies there. And I just have this nice countertop back here that I can use. It comes in handy for so many things. I love this. I designed it and my husband built it and then I painted it. He put the flooring in. It was definitely a group effort. And we used the same sea salt color in here as well. But I really love it. One day I want to maybe get a different pantry door. 
I would love to have like a, a screen door or something to like let air flow in but still be able to close the door. So coming back through the kitchen, through the dining room, this is the hallway. We built the, or we made these corbels. I love these corbels. I would love to do like farmhouse, like wood along the side, like um, stained wood around my doorways. It would be a pro process. It would definitely be a process. But the reason I haven't done it is because I love these corbels so much and I would need to change them. And I just, I just love them because this is an extra wide doorway. I just think they're so pretty. And then into the hallway, the hallway does have a yellow bulb, so the lighting is different in here, so I apologize. But we just have, I, I want to do a hall, hall makeover, repaint it, just do some stuff in here. It needs the, the molding along the bottom. So over here to the right is a bedroom, and then this is the basement doorway, bathroom, and then my son's room over here. All right, he stepped out, so I'm just giving you a glimpse into his room. He is 15. This is his room. I'm going to um, pretty soon do like a declutter because we're going to be having our yard sale, and I want to get rid of some of the, the stuff that's in here. He's got a lot of stuff in his closet that, you know, he doesn't use anymore. So this room has been mine and my husband's. It's been his room. It's been our daughter's room. I think that's it. Three of us have, have had this room, but the dogs clearly are curious what's going on. And then this is our one and only bathroom. <laughs> it has wallboard on it and behind that is like plaster and it's awful. So we couldn't take it down. So instead of doing that, I just painted it. And then I did this like faux brick in here as well and painted it kind of like black and gray. I made that sign right there. And then I've, I, there's things I'd like to redo in here. Maybe one day I'll get to it. I would love to put the floor, floor pops, floor tiles in here to match the laundry room, but then it would be so busy with the floor and the faux brick. So I, I haven't gone that route yet, but this is our bathroom. Ollie, what you think? What you think? It's a pretty good sized bathroom, I think, but you know, six people living here at one time. It's kind of a lot to have just one bathroom, but we made it work. We've made it work all these years and it's totally fine. This is mine and my husband's bedroom. I did just do like a little makeover in here. The lighting in this room has never been very good. So it does look extra green. This um, wall color is not the same sea salt, but it is a, sh a shade of green. It's almost a little bit bluish green, but I recently redid this and got a new comforter. And so it's kind of like a boho style. So I kind of went with that style. I really like a lot of things about the boho style but i also want to incorporate it into like my farmhouse decor as well i just put a lot of plants and then also redid our dressers with some gel stain to try to bring in some wood tones i love it they used to be gray but i really love how they look with the gel stain on them so put got new curtains and i think i i tried to make what i have work and just adding a few new things. I didn't want to repaint the walls, but this is actually wallpaper, but I painted it. So I painted it to look like barn wood. It's a little different than in the dining room, but I wanted to keep that as well. I actually really love that. To me, that's farmhouse and then mixed with the boho. There is actually a boho farmhouse style, which I didn't realize, but I actually, I think that's what I love. <laughs> I think that's me. So that's my dresser. It's very small. Our bedroom is very small. This room has been both of our daughter's rooms. It's been my son's room. It's been our room. So as you can tell, we've swapped, swapped rooms a lot since we've lived here. Our closets don't, we took the closet doors off a long time ago. We just didn't like them. So we just have, these are curtains hanging up. And then in the other bedroom, we, we have the same. So now we're going to go down into the basement, but I'm going to do a voiceover because like I told you, my husband is down here working.
our basement is not completely finished, but we did finish about half of it. So when you get to the bottom of the stairs to the left, this is kind of like my craft room slash storage. This has been our daughter's room, our son's room, storage, so many different things. Um, it's currently in my craft room, but also we have a granddaughter now. So we just needed a place to store all the, her things when she's not here. So those are the baby gates that my husband made. And then this is a craft desk that I have. So I kind of like have half of it as my craft space and half as storage. We are going to have a yard sale soon. So a lot of these things will be in that. This is a change in table that Marion uh, made for our grandbaby. So it's so nice for me to have like a place where all her stuff is to come downstairs when she's here and just have everything in one place. Those Behind those curtains is just a concrete block and storage. And then this is all my like craft storage, my sewing machine. I keep my Cricut down here. And then that's a little pass through as you can see, but there's some boxes there. There's just too much stuff. That's why we're having a yard sale. Those are some presents for my niece who's getting married. But this it, through this little pathway is that doorway. I'll take you in there in a second. That is my husband's office. At the bottom of the stairs to the to the left, if you're facing the wall, is this just home decor and pillows that I'm going to be going through as well to get rid of and declutter. And then this little walkway here to the other side of the basement. And we just painted the floor on this half of the basement. It makes it look a lot better. And then this is was originally built for our daughter for her bedroom. It was also my other daughter's bedroom and my son's bedroom. And it also at one time was our bedroom. But we did rebuild it since then. And it just has cinder block wall on one side. And then the rafters are showing on the ceiling. But it's perfect for a man cave slash office. Marion loves to relax down here. He's got a lot of stuff. He's building like a DVD tower kind of actually at some point he's going to build it so he's got boxes of dvds he stores his comic books down here he loves superheroes comic books he's collected these since he was a little boy so he has quite a collection and he just keeps um you know different different things <laughs> important to him things the kids gave him so this is his little office he does work from home then when you come out of his office this is the unfinished completely unfinished side of the basement and over here to the right is his huge woodworking area he's really really loves woodworking it's something he discovered the last couple years and he is, makes all kinds of things as i was saying in this video he made all these different things he made this workbench this rolling rack my daughter-in-law made him this sign uh, when he became a poppy so it's his poppy's workshop and he spends a lot of time down here it's his new hobby and he absolutely loves it then over here on the other side this is all yard sale stuff we're gonna we're just kind of piling it up right now after the yard sale. It's going to be so nice to have more room, but we do have a lot of things down here that need to be gone through as well and decluttered. And then over here on this wall is all of my seasonal decor bins. So it's nice to have one place where they're all together and I can just grab them when I need them. And then this is like our paint supplies and paint cans. We always have paint. So that is it. I'm going to take you back upstairs now. So that is it for this little home tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. If this was your first video, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. It is free. I do a bunch of homemaking, cooking and cleaning, day in the life. We do a lot of fun DIYs, some big, some small, a lot of home projects, fixing up our 80 plus year old home. I'm a Christian wife and mom. I love to share my faith. I love to share anything to do with homemaking and home life, mom life, wife life. And to all my returning viewers, you know how much I love you all so much. I appreciate you being here. Y'all are the best. I have the best viewers. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I love you all. I'm praying for you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.